So the way we approached the way we approached the project is we really wanted to understand, um, you know, what it was like to, to create art in a pandemic. We didn't want to come up with like an inspirational story that would make that would put like a pink ribbon on this thing, you know, that was so difficult for so many people. And so, um, so what we tried to do is we tr really tried to explore how difficult it was. I mean, that's what they said to me. That's what they said to me. I, I didn't have to, you know, like I, I came in with an open mind. You know, I thought, oh, we do something that's, you know, uh, you know, that celebrates, you know, art in the pandemic. You know, I didn't know what that was. And then they told me about the trauma and the difficulty uh, that happened. And then, and then this message of hope comes out. But it's not a message of hope in the sense that, oh, yeah, everything was fine because we had art, mm -hmm. right? It was a battle, and what came and what comes out in 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 the, the story and in the interviews, is, you know, is that uh, not everybody benefited from art in the pandemic. A lot of people just suffered through the pandemic, mm -hmm. and and the teachers had a horrible time sometimes, you know, trying to get to the students, you know, because they're in their homes and they're not connecting, or they're you know apathetic, or they're not uh, uh, you know um, uh, you know they're not motivated to to connect, you know. And, and, and understandably, right, they don't have the tools, they don't have the presence, they don't have the uh, environment, you know, that they're used to, you know, maybe the environments in their homes are difficult, you know, I mean, it was a struggle. The, the point of the story, the, the, the you know, is that um, the students that were able, you know, or that wanted to, or that thought through, or that were just able, you know, to reach back to this, you know, this, uh, uh, safety line, you know, that the teachers were handing this, this thing, you know, the art, you know, that, that they were being handed, the, the students that took that and acted with it, they're the ones that transcended, you know, that used art to transcend the challenge, you know, and, and, uh, and I think, I think the, 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 the video is actually a message of hope for the next emergency, right, and I think one of the, one of the teachers said that in the interview, you know, it's like the next time, there's a problem and and you know and as they pointed you know in new jersey there are next times you know you know there's there's floods and there's you know uh, you know weather emergencies uh, of different kinds you know now there's the pandemic and and there will be a next time it might be an earthquake sometime whatever it is you know that happens i don't know if you guys have earthquakes earthquakes in new jersey but uh there's going to be another emergency and 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 uh and to know that Art has that power, right? When we take and we don't, like Chuck says, you know, we don't always create our best stuff, you know, but we create. It's it's mm -hmm. that moment where we create, and that's so transcending, right? It's such a pleasure, and it's so meaningful to us when we actually are able to create something out of an emergency. You know, it's like it's like when when you know we're you know we have like a, a you know a drama in our lives. You know, we we lose somebody, or you know, we break up with somebody, whatever it is. You know. It's like when we're able to create it, we can be able to like create that beautiful poem that comes out of it. You know, even though it's trauma, we look at it and it's like, my gosh, you know, I created something that moves me out of this and I'm enriched by it, you know? And, and so that's the message, right? It's like, you know, when there's a problem, when there's an emergency, you know, look for ways because it's always ways to create and, and grow out of that, you know? And so these people who, these artists who created, and I'm including the teachers in that because the teachers created an atmosphere for their students. These, te these teachers created um, a world for their students to walk into and be comfortable in because they're excellent teachers. Um, but these artists, they, they, made, they made it manageable for themselves because they saw what kept them alive. They saw what made their life have meaning and then they took it and they did it. And that's something that uh, you encapsulated really, really well in the documentary. Well, this was wonderful. If you have anything else that you would love to mention to our audience, um, go ahead. And uh, I did the story and Nick Patrick edited the visuals and he did such a phenomenal job. I did the story and the music and the interviews, but all the, and then worked with the teachers to collect the different images, but Nick assembled the images and found that uh, beautiful rhythm in the images and that was on Nick and Nick Patrick he was phenomenal mm. and so is Nick Patrick is he someone outside of your organization or someone inside of it he's a collaborator a freelance collaborator we collaborate on projects all the time that's wonderful um and your company is Endless Echo right and that's just you 
Yes, yes. And so um, what, what is the inspiration behind that name? Because I'm always curious about that. So, so um, Endless Echo uh, stands for the kinds of stories that we share mm. that come back to us. Mm. So, so we start conversations. We uh, put something out there that's meaningful, that's worth watching, that's worth listening to, uh, that connects with people. And it comes back to us. It comes back to us in conversation, comes back to us in business, comes back, comes back to us in different ways. It creates an endless echo of conversation. Yeah. Well, that is wonderful. And that's what this does. And this, that's what this will do. So with that, um, it was wonderful meeting you. And, Thank you, Jocelyn. Um, and now it's time to watch this lovely documentary. <laughs>